This is Before It Was Headlines, It Was Prophecy, and I'm your host, Katie Elizabeth. Things are changing, continuously, of course, but it seems like we're gaining momentum. And as we watch the end of days continue to unfold before us, I'm burdened, very burdened, to remind us of an overlooked fact. Genesis 12.3 is quoted frequently in America's stand with Israel, and as well it should be. But there's more to this than simply standing with Israel. We have to come to a, a fuller understanding. And here's the scripture. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Genesis 12.3 Genesis 12.3 was spoken between El Shaddai and Abraham several years before Ishmael or Isaac were born. And I think a lot of times we forget the fact that Adonai gave a promise over each son. Part of standing with Israel is to be grafted in, meaning if we are of the house of Israel, we should live by Torah. The other fact is the sons of Ishmael have also been promised to be a great nation. And although Ishmael was not the child of promise, he is the son of Abraham. Therefore, and something that has occurred to me now is the realization that the remnant is of Isaac. The remnant is of Isaac. So that means that all the world will be blessed. So that means we've got a pretty good job. But the other factor is Yehovah also said he would make them a great nation, a mighty nation. And they don't wouldn't get along with anybody, not even each other. And we see that in the um, in the Arab nations. You know, I can't help but wonder if Messiah's teaching to love your enemy was prophetic in nature regarding the promised Abraham. What we in America do need to consider is the fact that although Islam was, has written their own book, there are teachings of Islam that do align with scripture. For instance, kosher diet, that sort of thing. And we need to also remember what the God of the Bible has spoken stands and will be fulfilled. It will come to pass. Any people or religion that keeps kosher will be healthier because it's eating instructions for the human body from our Creator. Any part of anything that God has spoken will come to pass and is true. Regardless of who's doing it, it's still true because the Creator of the universe said it. So every Every blessing and every curse given to us in Deuteronomy clearly applies to our obedience in this life. Another uneasy fact of biblical history is God has used the enemies of Israel when they were in spiritual adultery or idolatry to punish them. Israel as a nation now is not Torah observant. It's not a theocracy. But a warning to America, this is really frightening. Any nation that plays these descendants of Abraham against each other will find themselves in the wrath of God and know that. The promise to Abraham will be kept. Israel is the apple of Yehovah's eye and will be protected as such. The sons of Ishmael have been promised to be a mighty nation and get along with no one. And that also will happen. It is truly time to get our house in order. We're not going to stop what's been spoken. And we're certainly not going to change the timetable of the Creator. It's time to get our house in order. This has been Before It Was Headlines, It Was Prophecy. I'm Katie Elizabeth.